Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, brought to you by the New Palace Lanes here in Pittsburgh, Massachusetts. I'm your host, Steve Bronchuk. And I'm Dave Madela. And in the last week's episode, Ryan McHugh defeated Justin Scally. Now, Ryan, the number two seed, faces the number one seed, Evan Mazzaferro. When all the smoke is cleared, we will have a new King of the Palace. Evan Mazzaferro, the number one seed, with a qualifying score of 444, bowling at a Mason's Bowling Center with an average of a 109. This is Evan's first appearance on the King of the Palace. Up first, Alley 3, Evan Mazzaferro in the championship match for the King of the Palace, facing Ryan McHugh, who defeated Justin Scally last week. Winner of this one is the King. This is going to be a good match. This is for all the marbles. This was for the king of the palace, what we all strive for, all the bullets go for. See who wants it more. Yep. Oh, Evan thought he had that one. Evan bowls out of Mason's. Mason's uh, Lumister, in Lumister. Lumister, up in right, Route 12. Nice friendly people up there, you know, you, you, ever in the area, stop by, say hi to Ev. You know, his, his dad, Jim, is a um, Kenlipin bowler. Okay, Evan opened up with a 10. Let's see what happens here on LE4. He's left the, will it fall for the hammer? No. Six pin standing there. Got to go right at this one. I wouldn't even go near the wood. Just shoot for the pin. Exactly. Dennis, what do you think? Exactly. Right, right you can see it, grab it. There it is. Ooh. Ooh. Tailed right away. Oh. Oh, a little disappointment in, in Evan's face on that one. He knew he should have had that one. Ball just drifted. Play in the wood, not the conventional way to do it. Up now, Ryan McHugh, the number two seed. Qualifying score of a 417. Bowling out of Timber Lanes with an average of a 96. This is Ryan's second appearance on the King of the Palace. Up now, Ryan McHugh, who defeated Justin Scally last week. Justin was on a tear for a while. A lot of close matches last last week. And the week before, one pins. That's yeah. every pin counts. Shows right. you how crucial it is. Yeah, he yeah. showed up. He bowled well in the qualifying rounds. He's here. He's after the the king of the palace. You're struggling, you know. No spares, no strikes. Every pin, 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 pin. No, it's got to get the finger of God here to get the. Ten blocks to match Evan. Uh, no, nope. a little wide left. Finger of God is giving him the finger right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I asked. You know, I had the opportunity to talk to Ryan real briefly and stuff like that, and I asked him like, "Boy, you're just a running gunner. You don't analyze and stuff like that." He says, he says, "I try not to think about it too much because if I think about it too much, it gets in my head and I screw up." Well, that. that He's on this. He's left, you know, he threw a beautiful ball there. He's left the... Waiting for the wood to settle down and see what's going to happen. This is this, this is not going to be pretty. Yeah, this well, you know what? It actually might help him out. Take a little off that ball. Hit that dead wood in the front. Well, he's got a... There you go. Yeah, yeah. He played it right. He must have heard me. Well, everybody hears you, dude. <laughs> no, not as much as you. No, not that's true. But okay. uh, getting back to that, like I said, Bowen's 90% mental, 10% talent. And the luck fake factors in the 90% somewhere? Somewhere in there. Evan a little bit wide right again. He's left an ugly clock. Threw that one six. away. This is just ugly. He's just got to throw the strike ball huh? and make the spare. This is Evan's first uh, appearance on the King of the Palace. Ooh, Evan, what are you doing, man? Uh, maybe the, the nerves are What are you there, going, the, fishing? The lights are on, the cameras are on, the voices are on, replay and everything. And play by play. Just take him a couple boxes, he'll... Yeah, he'll shaking the jitters away. off. Evan's a, Evan's a veteran can have been bowling. You know, he's been bowling for 30 years, man. He's, uh, his high singles are 207. His high trips are 444. That was today, actually. Oh, today was his high... I think it was. Oh, look at this. Unless it was a 440, because, I mean, unless he threw the... That might have been before, because the 444 was figured in with his handicap, so it was probably before that. 
I would think. So 44, 444 with no handicap, that's pretty decent. It's a hell, hell of a ball. Now, Dennis, on this last spear attempt here, he had three pins on the right, two on the left. He's a right-handed bowler, and he played the two on the left. Do you think he, that was by design? Or? Nope, I think he screwed up. It could be that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everybody's got theories if you should play the right side. I think side he screwed that one up. I think he wanted to go to the right. But it's like any shot, really. If you have a choice whether to go to the right or the left, it's all your preference. Uh, what are you more comfortable throwing it? Uh, Ryan's got a chance. Evan being the number one seed, you know, he, his qualifying score was a 444. So. He threw an M. And then men on the left you there, you only, got, you only got a three on the field. And a little lumberjacking going on now. Both of them kind of feeling each other out. Got five pins up there to get a ten box. All depends on who wants it more. Nice out. Nice Beautiful out. Beautiful out. Nice, nice ten. Nice out. All depends on who wants this king of the palace crown more. Is it going to be Ryan McHugh? Out of Timberlands in Atherton? Or is it going to be Evan Mazzaferro out of Mason's Bowling Center in Lumminster, Mass? Well, he's got the, f the four, five, seven, this eight. This is ugly, too. This is a tough shot. Two sets of parallel pins. Play the wood. Oh, he just took out the two on the right. He's left the four and the seven. Shot. Yeah, he's left the four and the seven for a ten. Very important two pins here. You know, Ryan's, uh, Ryan works at Raytheon. It's kind of cool. After four, Dennis? After four, Ryan is at 50 and Evan is at 35. Well, Evan Mazzaferro, veteran can open bull, like you said, David, been bowling a long time. He's got to turn it on. That's all there is to it. He's got to find it, turn it on, see what happens. Oh, wide right again. Uh, when, when, uh, when Evan's not bowling, he's uh, either traveling or playing poker. Oh, nice pickup. Oh, I have all, you know, Evan and I, Evan and I are friends. You know, we we run that, uh, we ran that Twin City Challenge together. You know, yep. he was he had a hand in it, so he doesn't mind if I rip him a little bit every yep. once in a while. He's got a good sense of humor. He's a good dude. Speaking of the Twin City Challenge, I'm up tomorrow to throw my ten, you know, along with some other friends of the Tuesday Night Bowling League. Looking forward to it. David. Oh, now you, here it goes. Here it goes again. Four, five, five seven. It just. This is a tough shot. Tough shot. Very difficult. Which where, where are you going on this one, Dennis? Uh, geez, spraying and praying on this yeah. one. This wood's kind of nasty. I'd probably go to the right of the. Went to the right. Try to kick that wood and spin it around. Nothing happening. Well, important two pins here. Yeah, keep every the, pin. Yeah, keep the pin in. It's for the championship. It's for the king of the palace. We saw it the last two weeks. A pin made the difference. Yeah. Yep. The last two weeks, both ball, both balls in the last box. Want to go home. Want to go home, right? Oh, well, we Ryan up here to match the spin. Wide right, but he's left Look the five this. pin on the spear. Oh my goodness. Five pin doesn't want to know if it's it wants to go down or not. It's saying hello to everybody, but it doesn't want to fall down. Wow, throwing it to the left. Oh. Did, did Ryan forget this is for the king of the palace? You want to go up and tell him? You want me to? No, I have Travis call time. Oh, nice out, okay. though. Nice out, yeah. I want to start seeing some bombs being dropped. You kidding me? No, we've only had two marks out of 11 boxes, so the bowlers are going to turn it on here. The jitter has got to be gone by now. It's the finals. Look at this, half Worcester to the right. Oh, or the palace goodness. to the right. The new palace. The new like palace. That. The new palace. Everybody's got a saying here. <laughs> goes to the left, goes to the right. So Maybe we should have the uh, viewers leave some comments on the Facebook page yeah. to see what they like more. Comments on the Facebook page, comments on the YouTube page. Whether you love it or you hate it, you got to respect it. No, we welcome everything. We welcome comments from the viewers. Yeah, you have a lot of fans out there, Steve. I got to tell you what. Yeah, wow. Well. After six, it's Ryan at 68, Evan at 62. I can truthfully say, David and Dennis, you I got thick skin. Enjoyed, I enjoyed the bowl Look at this. Probably, as well as anybody. Now he's just nailed the one and the three, threw a beautiful, beautiful first ball into the pocket, and he's left the two and the six, an ugly spare. Well, it looks like more like the four to the six to me. Four six? No, it's a two six. Two six. Two six. Oh, and he played the wood no, on the four, right. Four six. 
No, I'm just messing with you. The blank stares. Huh? <laughs> Well, if it was a 4-6, it would have been the devil's bedpost. Uh, he's got to find it. He's going in the block. I've seen this kid turn it on, man. Oh, he's, he is an excellent Kalimpin bowler. I'm just waiting for him to I'm, drop I'm a ball. I'm watching him here on his approach. He's zeroing in on a little ball. Oh, he's wide right again. I've known Evan for a few years, and believe me, he can turn it on at the blink of an eye. Yeah. You know, he's, uh... It appears to me, Dennis, David, he's... For some reason, he just doesn't look comfortable. He may be overthrown a little bit. It is the championship match. We know that. Well, he's, you know, he's, the cameras are on, man. Yeah, he Everything's that. all good in practice. He put the ball up and over the 9 to 10 and made no contact. Waiting to see what that wood's going to do, if it's going to. Oh, this is difficult. Parallel pins, very difficult to make. No, nope. ball, ball, went in the, ball went in the channel, made contact. The gutter. Other channel. You got her. Know, got her. All right, fine. Enough. And so, so what are we going to get into? Another discussion is it the diamond or the or the dinner bucket? It's the diamond. It's the diamond and candle pin. It's the dinner bucket and ten pin. It's the diamond in in candle pin world where everybody bowls candle pin. Well, he's up here for a. Okay, we can. Unless you're going for the KFC bucket. Absolutely, right on that one. Almost had the spare. He's left the. It'd be nice if KFC sponsored this. It'd be kind of cool. Well, maybe we ought to talk to them. I'll give it a shot. Okay. Are you thinking about the free chicken or the uh, sponsor? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you caught me. Free chicken. <laughs> Mashed potatoes, free chicken. I love that mac and cheese. Extra crispy. <laughs> I don't like the original stuff. Too easy. The Lions got a chance. To oh, look at this. Through the ball in the ocean. Are you kidding me? This is this is going to come down to can, another no, one no, pin match. Neither one of these guys have opened up at all. We've had two marks, Dennis and no. Wilson. Yeah, each blocks. bowler only has one spare so far. Uh, Yo, let's get her done. Maybe the, maybe you ought to call time out and go down to Kentucky Fried Chicken and have, have some chicken. No, maybe I should go down and call the strippers out here or something. Nah, fire them up a little bit, get some girls down here. We don't want that. Why not? No, that would make Speak for yourself. Well, that's right. Yeah, yeah, you got a point there. Speak that's for yourself. Hey, kid. if you want Ric Flair down here, you're going to have to have girls here. <laughs> oh, that's right. High flying, limousine riding. Wheeling, dealing, uh, kiss stealing. After eight, Ooh. it's Ryan at 85, Evan at 79. Ryan holding on to a six pin lead. Box number nine, better known once again. Canopin Bones, the foundation box. Evan wants to find. And he missed the head pin again. He's left a one, two. Oh, he, Evan. Evan is just one, two, and seven. Struggling. No wood. Yeah, one mark and nine boxes. Kevin's trying to dial. Evan's trying to dial it in. You know, he's he's getting frustrated with himself. He knows that he should be knocking these down. David, you did state before the the match that he bowled a 444 in the qualifying. And yeah. Now he's got 87 after nine. Excuse me, after eight. It just goes to show you, you never know what's going to happen in Cana and Bowling. Either that or the steroids wore off. No. It's just that much more frustrating, though. You know, you just pulled yeah. a great full you point four earlier. You had it in the qualifying. Dennis, you had it in the qualifying yeah. rounds, and all of a sudden, it, now another he's ball just, drifting uh, He's it's just Look minor adjustments. That's all it is. Yep. Look at this ugliness. The one, six, seven, eight, ten. He's got a lot of wood that's favorable. So well, you know. he'd love to get this as oh, a yeah. momentum builder. Got to try to hit this one on the right-hand side of the head pin. Come on. This, this wasn't there. No love. No. Nope. No love at all on the king of the palace. Final first round. Yeah. Look at that. What a beautiful out. Very difficult ah. to make parallel. Nice 10 box to finish. Still a tough one. Tough string for Evan with the finishing with a 97. Well. Ryan McHugh can really open up some distance here if he gets a couple marks and really put the pressure onto him. Well, look at this. Oh, 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 wait. Come on. Look at this. Look at this. Throws a weak paw left, well, and he's only left he the He has the opportunity to capitalize on this one right here. Oh. I tell you what. Oh, it. Wow. Threw that one away. Wide left. Ooh. Wide right. Wide right for nine blocks, 94 after nine. All right, you just got to throw, you know, put that out of your mind, come back with that always ball. Every time you miss it, one pin for a spare, you come back with that strike. Zeroing in here. Evan's troops are showing up little by little. You know, rally troops.
Justin's Ryan's gonna take this one just because. Nice ball. Oh, what a comeback. What a comeback for the mock. Very weak for his ball. Uh, working on one ball for a, for a fillet. Took up the six and He's the already nine. getting ten. This is gonna be kind of difficult for Evan to come back. He's gonna have to need to really turn it on. To, you, to, not kidding about that one. And oh, now, two fill. Now he gets a two fill. After one, it's Ryan at 106, Evan at 97. Evan's gonna need to turn around and and and, and definitely lock things down and get things evened out and start marking and, and if he wants to be the king. For Ryan, same thing. Yep. You know, is I don't think Ryan knows who he's bowling and and if Ryan it's who comes down to who wants this more right now. This is it. Now this is it. This is for the I just said that. I know. This is for the king of the palace. Oh, nice nice pick up. way to open up. Nice. He made a would you consider that that spear that he just made an aces and eight spear? Yeah, it was an aces and eight spare, yeah, sure. Very, very, very dull. Oh, he kind of hit that want, one from the bottom of the deck. Well, though. I just wanted the okay from you. you know, yeah, that's fine. You, 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 so look at this. Look at this. Oh, Opens oh, up with a spare and a strike. What? Looks like Ryan wants to wear that crown. Oh, boy. Oh, you He's already walking all over you, walking tall, man. Oh. Opening up that can and walking it dry. Oh, my goodness. What a way to open up, Dennis. Huh? Yeah, that's the way to capitalize on a nine pin lead going to the string. Oh my goodness. And Evan, Evan opens up with a wreck in the rack. Oh, answering it back himself. They feed off the energy. Looks, looks like somebody decided to uh looks like these two decided to show up and bowl. You my know, goodness. messing around hammers, time is over. Two hammers out of the first three boxes. Let's see what happens. Oh, he needs a big fill on now this. Now this one. is known as Candlepin bowling at its best. Head pin. Oh, look at this. Oh. Look at this. Got raw. Now see, Dennis. He just threw a perfect ball in the first box that looked, you know, was perfect because he got the strip. Follows it up with basically the same ball, and he only dropped six pence. Two, four, seven, and six. Oh! oh. And he Are you kidding me? me. Oh Look my at this. Goodness. We got a match on our hands now, ladies and gentlemen. This is Canopin Bowler. That was a best. beautiful pickup. That replay oh, is spectacular. Are you kidding me? Oh, both up on. One opens up with a spare strike. Evan opens up with a strike spare, man. This is this is getting good. Oh, this is good. Evan Evan's gonna need to pour it on a little bit more though. Evan's got a lot of work to do. Told you the blink of an eye, Evan can turn it on. I've seen it, I've seen him do it many times. You and me both. I've been on the receiving end of some of those. Ryan filled the six. Excuse me, filled the strike with a six and wants this for the ten bucks. And he got uh, finger of God. But well, that's very common tonight. A lot, a lot of times the uh, head pins been left up. Yeah, it's the finger of God. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I think uh, yeah, you're getting a little bit of composure here. This is the yep. first time we saw Ryan uh, McHugh take a little break there. Just wants to get his feet set, get his mind into it. Look at that. A little bit. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I'll do this. <laughs> look at this. Six, seven. He's got to spin this wood. Oh, oh, threw it away. Yeah, he needed contact either with the wood or the pin. All right, come back. Make sure you get at least one of these. Yeah, he's got to. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Oh, oh bungee <laughs> ball going on. Did you see that? Little bungee People, ball. Ball came back, hit the pin from behind, knocked it down. And it is legal because it hit a pin on the way down. Yep, put his quarter in the machine, pulled out a bungee ball, threw that thing down, and bounced it all over the place. Wait a minute. How on the God's green earth do you equate? Good word for you. Bungee ball into candle pin bowl. Evans working on a spare. Of course, that's David. That's David Metallo. Only he could come up with something like that. What? It's, okay. it's, it's, it's come on now. now. Bungee ball. Okay, six fills. Would you rather Super Bowl? Yeah, bungee ball, Super Bowl. I don't know. I suppose he can call it what he wants. He's, you know, he's the color commentator. You know, I'm the, I'm the host. You're a color commentator. We can, I guess, you know, we have different names for different things. So, okay, here comes Evan after the four horsemen. He wants to spare. Oh, you know what? wow. You know what? Wow. Oh, way white. Yeah, could have got the three in a row. He's got to work on this 10. Thank you for being graphic, David. Hey, 
Look at this. <laughs> nice 10. <laughs> nice 10. <laughs> Wipe your feet on that one too, Evan. Oh, uh, completely miss your ride. I don't play favorites. Yeah. I know. That's the third time you told us that tonight. I don't well, play maybe favorites. it's the fourth time. I don't play favorites. That's the fifth time. Oh, I, I just want to see good bowling. I can't wait for him to hear this commentary after. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Just Look at this. Again. The one, see, two, nine, ten. Some wood, this, ugly. This is kind of streaky bowling right here because yeah. both of these guys opened up. Like a horse of fire and then. A horse of fire. House of fire. Oh. How'd you get horse out of house? I'm gonna tell you, it's, it's what you it sounded like on this. I don't know. Is it my octaves or my octaves? Oh, uh, I don't know, man. I'll tell you what. Octaves. Dennis, you weren't you weren't here last week. No, but no. I saw the show. It was octave. It's octave. Oh, nice ten. Thank you. Nice ten. It's octave. Any in the English language, when a word ends in a vowel and the preceding vowel should be. Okay. Maybe we're gonna have Rick Flair come on that. English one on one. Him, either him or me, Gene Oakland. He'll straighten Oh, maybe we'll have Stone Cold Steve Austin come in and oh, give you the double right bird. Here. You can probably get me and Gene just for a uh, hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> we could probably get Jim Ross if you buy, bought some of his barbecue sauce. Well, from the world class commentators of the WWE. Okay, Ryan up. Ooh. Yeah, these guys are, you know, they opened up as a house of fire and now they're both struggling. Evan's going to need to do some work because. Yeah, he's going to come out of this with a 9 out of 10. Every ball that Ryan's throwing is just adding pins. Very disappointing. Sir. Even if Ryan is off a little bit. Well, yeah. but David, they, they came out of this great start. We thought that it would really carry over, and it's kind of like diminished. Yep. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I can't describe it. They're missing left and right, right and left. About an inch more to the right, he would have had that. You, know, you kind of wonder if one, you know, if, if, if well, Ryan like is coasting a little bit. Yeah. He knows he's got a lead, you know. Well, whoever gets the hardest here is going to win the I've never been a big fan of that one. What? Coasting. I like, you know, if you're going to beat somebody, put the screws to them. Tell them to get off my alleys. For the championship. That's you right. You want to try every box. One of these two have to come back and defend their title. Look at, oh, look at this. He found the head pin again. And look at this ugliness. Three, six, seven with some wood. This will go. But the, the question is, how does it happen? He found the head pin. He found the pocket. He threw a nice ball. Now, I'm not going to say that you're going to get penalized because you'll only have a comment on it. But oh. He tried. He hit the object. It just didn't go for him. Right. Evan doesn't look like he gets rattled too much by too many things. You know, it's... um. It is what, in his eyes, it is what it is. No, he knows well, he, he's trying to throw a good ball, and sometimes well, the brakes aren't there. Every time there's a piece of dead wood in the channel, either left side or right, Dennis. It's the gutter, man. The gutter, you must you remove call, it. It's like the shoe. Uh, we use the gutter. Channel again, I believe, is another ten-pin term, but it's gutter in uh, candle pin. And just like it's side wall, not side curtain. There's no, cur there's no curtain. Yeah, it's the back curtain. It's the back curtain. Oh, wide right again, left the one. The, the one, the four, the seven, and the nine. Ugly. Some wood out there in it next to the head pin. He's got to slam the head pin, see what happens. Look at that. Nice Beautiful shot. shot. Went to the left, he Evan, made it. Evan needed excellent that. Excellent shot. Evan excellent, needed that. Excellent candle pin bowling. About time. A nice ball. Oh, oh, Ooh, half Worcester. Whoa, whoa, is he this is, this is coming down to pressure time now. Oh, oh yeah, crunch time. Six box followed by an eight box followed by a. Who half wants it more? Oh, oh, it's oh, so pretty goodness. when it goes. Oh, my goodness. What a shot. That's why it's my favorite shot. So Talk nice about a pressure shot. Well, now he's got to make the fill. Oh, uh, fills look at this. Eight. It's amazing, Dennis, what making a very difficult spear can do for your contest. I'm exactly. tell you what. Man. I saw it. I saw him pick it up. He picked it up. Oh. Jeez, I thought he had that two pin for a spear. This is why we designed the king of the palace. Anybody can be the king. It doesn't matter what your score is, what your average is. How fast you throw the ball, David, you know. how slow you throw it. It's candle pin bowling. 
That's all there is to it. Yep, just have fun. You know? Oh, this is the big ball. This is the big ball for Evan. Yeah, Evan needs to do a lot of work, he's and he needs 13. to do a lot of work he's, right now. He's actually down 11 plus when he gets on the field. Let's see what happens. Right, right, disappointing six. Five Fins still waving around down there. Why didn't it fall down? Yeah, you know what? It's probably better that it didn't. Well, well he needs a head pin for the spill, though. Why do uh, off. I think Evan needs to rally more troops here. He definitely needs his 10 boxes up against the uh, spear eight that Brian just threw. Threw it away. Okay. You know, it just goes to show you, it doesn't matter what seed you are. You can be the number four seed and tear it up. I think this is the first time that Ryan has bowled in the King of Pals. This is the bowl time. Uh, this is the second time Ryan's bowled Oh, in second. It. Last week, he defeated Justin Scally. You were, you were watching That's it. right, I forgot. I meant what I meant to say is the first time he's a, he's tried the, the King of the Palace. No, 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 no. Huh? He's done it before. Yes, okay. I... Look at this. Look at oh. oh, wow. Hey, he wanted that. Uh, speaking of Travis, he takes a sec. He doesn't take a seat to nobody. He's the best. He's Travis. Filming down there, and they never really wanted that spare. Unfortunate. Well, here we go, guys. Last two boxes. Evans down by 13. Well, Ryan gets over this is Ryan's to lose. Him to get a double strike. Let's see what happens. This is Ryan's to lose right now. Yeah, he'd like to put a mock up right now and really just put the shut the door. Shut the shut door. door yeah. Call himself a king. Come, kid coming out of nowhere with a 96 average. Who would have thought? But then again, you know, the naysayers would be like, well, it's 80% handicap. What do you expect? That's why we don't do it. Well. Very important two pins here. Very, very important two pins. Oh, he goes down. Okay. But that's why it's a, you know, the 80% handicap gets people who would normally never get a chance to bowl on TV to get on TV. And we, yeah, this kid never would have seen the light of day back nope. in the day. And now he's gonna, probably going to be the king of the palace. Yeah, and if he's the king of the palace, you know what? He's going to be, you know, that's a feather to stick in his cap. He'd be, hey, look, you know what? Oh, he can walk down Kimbo Street, River Street, Claggon. He can go to Timber Lanes. Nice. He's the king of the palace. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, oh yeah. he defeated the moose knuckle. What an excellent shot. Defeated the MK. He's got the final ball now for the fill. Yeah, this is this is it this right is here, man. I, I think a hammer right here would I basically end match. Well, I think it's going to end match anyway. It would force Evan's going to need Evan needs going to need to be triple, looking at like um, an act of God. Triple strike will be needed. No. Four. Okay. Evan's gonna need to like drop some big bombs and drop uh, them quick. Needs a minimum of a double. <laughs> needs a lot more than that. Well, minimum. He's down 37 pins right now, so he needs 38 pins and two boxes. It's doable. It's doable. Needs to strike. There's one. There's one. Nice ball. There's one. Well, maybe Evan's not done for the night yet. Needs the double. Could this come down to another one pin match for the that King of the amazing. Palace? That would be amazing. This amazing is the nail ball. biter right here, I tell you what. Let's see what he does. Keep my mouth shut. A little extra focus here, Dennis. Please. Yeah, but you don't want to focus too much because, like I said, that could hurt you. Oh, Drifted that's him. it. That's it. We have a new King of the Palace. Yep. And his name is Ryan McHugh. Coming right. out of. Timber Coming out of Timberlanes. Timberlanes in Abington, Massachusetts. His first appearance on the TV show. As the number two seed. Well, we can't emphasize enough, David and Dennis. He's a 96 average bowler. Just goes to show what I'm saying. Anybody can come down and win the balance. Just goes to show you who wanted him more. Well, who, it doesn't matter what your average is, how fast you throw it or whatever. Yeah, we encourage you to come down and try it out. Regardless of your average, come down, give it a shot. Sure. You never know what happens. And this and, is we're living proof of it. And you know what? Come down and support Canlip and Bowling. Exactly. That's all it is, you know. No accolades about it. Congratulations, Ryan McHugh, for becoming the new king of the palace. Um, great bowling kid. And uh, we'll see you on the next king of the palace, which is actually going to be on March 30th this year. Um, 
just because of the Twin City Championship coming down on the 29th. So the next one will be March 30th. Final score, Ryan 235, Evan 224, 11 pin lead. Ryan had one strike, five spares. Evan had two strikes and three spares. Congratulations, Ryan McHugh, the new King of the Palace champion. Congratulations, Ryan. And now up, the Spread Eagle Bonus Ball Challenge. First up, Ryan McHugh. Now up, Evan Mazzaferro.